We're strong together. We're strong together. We're strong together. We're strong together. Where we are strong.
sisi tujalie hili kwa kufuata mfano wake tukuamini kwa moyo mnyofu na tuweke kwako matumaini ya kuokoka kwa njia bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao anaeishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele chana wakati wa hari akainua macho yake akaona na tazama watu watatu wamesimama mbele yake naye alipowaona alipiga mbio kwa laki kutoka mlangoni pahema akainama mpaka nchi akasema bwana wangu kama nimeona fadhili machoni pako na kuomba usinipite sasa mimi mtu mtumwa wako na yaletwe basi maji kidogo mkanawe miguu mkapumzike chini ya mti huu nami nitalete chakula kidogo mkaburudishe moyo baadaye muendelee iwapo mmemjia mtumwa wenu wakasema haya fanya kama ulivyosema basi Ibrahimu akaenda hima hemani kwa Sara akasema himiza vipimo vitatu vya unga safi uukande ufanye mikate Ibrahimu akapiga mbio kwenda kundini akaleta ndama wa ngombe aliye laini mzuri akampa mtumishi naye akahimiza kuiandaa akatoa siagi na maziwa na ndama aliyoiandaa akawaandikia mbele yao akasimama karibu nao chini ya mti nao wakala wakamwambia yu wapi sara mkeo akasema yumo hemani akamwambia hakika nitakurudia wakati huu huu mwakani na tazama Sara mkeo atapata mwana wa kiume Sara akasikia mlangoni pahema iliyokuwapo nyuma yake basi Ibrahimu na Sara walikuwa wazee na umri wao mkubwa na Sara alikuwa amekoma katika desturi ya wanawake kwa hiyo Sara akacheka moyoni mwake akisema ni wapo mkongwe nitapata furaha na bwana wangu mzee Bwana akamwambia Ibrahimu, "Mbona Sara amecheka akisema, mimi kweli nitazaa mwana, nami ni mzee? Kuna neno gani lililo gumu la kumshinda Bwana? Kwa muhula wake nitaku, nitakurudia wakati huu huu mwakani na Sara atapata mwana wa kiume." Akakana Sara akisema, "Sikucheka, maana aliogopa." Naye akasema, "Sivyo, umecheka. Hilo ndilo neno la Mungu." wimbo wa katikati kiti kio bwana alikumbuka rehema zake bwana alikumbuka rehema zake moyo wangu wa mwadhimisha bwana na roho yangu imemfurahia mungu mwokozi wangu bwana alikumbuka rehema zake kwa kuwa ameutazama unonge wa mjakazi wake kwa maana tazama tokea sasa vizazi vyote wataniita mbarikiwa bwana alikumbuka rehema zake bwana
kama alivyowaambia baba zetu Ibrahimu na uzao wake hata milele Bwana alikumbuka rehema zake Tusimame kwa shangili Sema neno tu na mtumishi wangu watapona. Kwa maana mimi nami ni mtu, ni mtu nilie mwekwa chini ya mamlaka mwenye askari chini yangu. Nikimwambia huyu nenda, uenda, na huyu njoo kuja. Na mtumwa wangu fanya hivi ufanya. Yesu aliposikia hayo alistaajabu. Akamwambia wale waliomfuata, "Amini na wambieni, sijaona imani kubwa namna hii." kwa yeyote katika Israeli. Nami nawaambieni ya kwamba wengi watakuja kutoka mashariki na magharibi nao wataketi pamoja na Ibrahimu na Isaka na Yakobo katika ufalme wa mbinguni bali wana wa ufalme watakupwa katika giza la nje ndiko kutakuwako kilio na kusaga meno. Na Yesu akawambia yule akida nenda zako na uwe kwako kama ulivyoamini mtumishi wako akapona saa ile hata Yesu alipofika nyumbani kwa Petro akamwona mkewe Petro mamaye mkewe amelala kidhani hawezi homa akamguza mkono homa ikamwacha naye akaondoka akaanza kuwatumikia hata kulipokuwa jioni wakamleta wengi wenye pepo akawatoa pepo kwa neno lake akawaponya wote waliokuwa hawawezi ili litimie lile neno lililonenwa na nabii Isaya akisema mwenyewe aliutwa udhaifu wetu na kuyachukua magonjwa yetu injili takatifu la wokovu wetu Tumsifu Yesu Kristo Mungu ni mwema. Kwa nini mliamua tu kukaa pande moja na sio huku? Wote ni wakwa. Leo umeimba vizuri. Jana nilikuwa na kundi nyingine hapa wazee wameanza misa hakuna mtu anaongea kila mtu. Nikauliza mnajua kuimba? So mama wengine wakaja, wakaanza kuimba, wakaanza ku sasa kujibu. So nikasema kumbe mnajua wanga kuimba. Na nyinyi mnasikia mnaimba vizuri sana. Ongereni sana. Leo na jana tumesikia katika injili Kristo anaponya. Na leo ameponya watu wawili. Mfanyikazi wa huyu Akida mwanajeshi na mama mkwe wa Petro. Tujifunze kitu kimoja kutoka kwa kuponywa kwa mamake eh, bibi ya uh, Petro, mother in law. That when Christ healed her 
the Bible says she rose to serve them. But when Christ healed her, what did she do? Aliamuka kwenye kitanda, akaza kuatumikia. I want to stress on that word service. Christ meets us in several ways and in various occasions. But how many times do we respond to Christ's experience, the grace of God in our lives? Christ meets us through our students, fellow students. Christ meets us through our lecturers, our teachers, the people we interact with, people of goodwill. But how do we respond to Christ's grace in our life? Peter's mother-in-law comes out to serve Jesus and the disciples. And as I said, one word for us as the youth, service. As I was coming this way, I met a friend of mine, a gentleman, yes? And I, I told him, Nimeitu wa nikuja nisome misa kwa vijana. Tuende, kasema mbana, mimi si mkijana, mungu ni mwema. Kijana ni mtu wa inagani. According to the UN description, kijana ni which age bracket? Amujui? 13? 18 to 35. So mimi nimezidi kidogo, mimi siya kijana. But God is calling us as youths to service. Have you gone to the ground? Did you see the act of community work and service? There's a act there and there's a Those who can do what agriculture, not subsistence agriculture, people will come together to join to help in digging or weeding. And even when you are building, for the gentlemen who have built huts, where I come from, when you reach a certain age, you aren't allowed to sleep in your mother's house. God is good. Amen. You are told now you can build your hut. And when you build the hut, you call your fellow youths to come and help you to build your hut. God is good. Kuna people of that kind there. Are there people who are still living in their mother's house? The man. Yeah. God is good. The God is good. 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 God because it is said, youth is an age where there is a lot of energy and vigor and talent and experience. So ask yourself, am I exploiting my talent best to serve God, to serve humanity? Let us ask during this Mass that God may show us where do you want me to serve you as a youth. I believe there are so many other youths, maybe even the Catholic students in your school, and some are not part of this group. God is good. Ukweli we pray that God may inspire them to see this good thing that you are doing, this movement, that they may join you, that you may serve in the church. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit.
kwa nguvu ya Roho Mtakatifu wa upendo wako utujalie tuhesabiwe sasa na mpaka mwisho miongoni mwa viungo vya mwanao ambaye tunashiriki mwili na damu yake e baba mwenyezi kwa kushiriki fungo hili utupatie uzima kwa njia ya roho wako na utujalie tunaanishwe na sura ya mwanao kuimarishwe katika kifungo cha ushirika pamoja na baba mtakatifu wetu Francisco askofu wetu Anthony Muheri na maaskofu wengine wote mapadri na mashemashi na taifa lako lote uwafanye waamini wa wote wa kanisa waajibike kwa moyo wote katika huduma ya injili huku wakichambua kwa makini ishara ya nyakati katika mwanga wa imani tuwezeshe kuyajalia mahitaji ya watu wote ili kwa kushiriki pamoja nao katika majonzi na machungu katika furaha na matumaini tupelekwe kwa uaminifu tangu tangazo la wokovu na tuzidi kutembea pamoja nao katika njia ya ufalme wa Wakumbuke ndugu zetu waliolala katika amani ya Kristo na marehemu wote ambao imani yao ulijua wewe peke yako. Wapokee furahie kwenye nuru ya uso wako na wajalie utimilifu wa uzima katika ufu. Utujalie na sisi kisha kamiliza maisha ya hapa duniani tuyafikie makao ya milele ambapo mtaishi daima pamoja nawe na kwa kushirikiana na Bikira Maria mama wa Mungu, mume wake wa Bikira Yusufu pamoja na mitume wenye heri na washahidi wako wa kikufu na watakatifu wote tutakusifu na kutukuza kwa njia ya Yesu Kristo mwanao kwa njia yake pamoja naye na ndani yake wewe Mungu wa wenyezi katika umoja wa roho mtakatifu unapata heshima yote na utukufu milele
Nisafiri kwa wepesi katika njia ya njili hadi lione heri ya mani ya milele ambao bikira Maria mjakazi wako mwenye nyekevu anaifurahia katika utukufu wa milele anaishi na kutawala daima na